Welcome or welcome back if you're new here. Thank you for being new here. We're going to get straight into this Timu haul. It all came together. This is three orders. I ordered some smaller stuff. I'm still doing my living room renovation. If you haven't watched those videos, please do. A lot of this was t-shirts, cups, things like that. First time ordering any kind of clothing from Timu. Uh, this right here is a Dungeons and Dragons sticker, logo sticker. My husband loves all that geeky stuff, so that looked pretty good. Uh, these are household sponges. Some of this stuff was free, some was super cheap. It was on a spin the wheel deal. Uh, Timu has a lot of games and offers and things like that to encourage you to buy things. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. That is a boot to my Stanley Cup and my Stanley knockoffs. I have both. Honestly, I haven't noticed any difference. I don't think there is one. Maybe the lead content. Who knows? This is from The Ring. Is that right? I don't even remember. But anyway, it's teeny tiny and it goes on top of a glass very cute for Halloween. Got this for the husband. It has the little doll with it or whatever. Super cute. They do have really nice Halloween stuff. I will give them credit for that. Horror movie stuff. This is my bat straw topper for the Stanley and the Stanley dupes. These are really handy to keep things from getting in your drink. And honestly, it's just a cute accessory. Accessory. Accessory? It's a cute thing to go on top of your straw, okay? The back scratcher was just a filler item to get me up to a certain point to use a coupon i mean will this last long probably not it will probably disappear into the recliner and never be seen again within a day uh same with these hair ties they were also a filler item they are nice though for hair ties and you do get a crap ton of them for whatever reason those seem to disappear quickly too but hey i can always use them these are the metal signs. They are all Dungeons and Dragons themed. Uh, the man cave is kind of getting a little mini makeover right now with some wallpaper, things like that. I should really do a video series on that. I have so many videos I could be doing. Uh, but, you know, I get lazy, not going to lie. And uh, these are nice. I mean, I'm impressed with what they are. It's not my thing. But I'm sure he's going to love them. He hasn't seen these yet, so... He will see these when he gets home. They're colorful. Timu's really good for home decor stuff. Just be really mindful of dimensions on things and stuff like that. A lot of people complain. They think things are bigger. They get them. They're way smaller. But you have to do the fine detail and fine print reading with anything. I don't care where you're shopping, whether it's Amazon, Walmart, Target, especially online. Pay attention to those dimensions. But these are like 12 inch by I forget what. But they're cool. And uh, they're going to go and I guess some kind of montage on the walls. What I'm assuming. And of course the clear bags which means clothes. I was so disappointed in this Halloween 1978 hadn't, hadn't filled shirt. It is made of the most horrible thin cheap polyester. It feels super flammable. I'm not keeping it. I will either give it away or make something else out of it. I hate it. The good news is the one I hated was navy, and I got it for like three bucks, so no big deal. But this one is the gray one. Thank God it turned out all right. Uh, I did get the size a little too big. Size run pretty true to size, by the way. That's okay. I can wear it loose. It's fine. It's more of that actual cotton t-shirt material. It may be a little off, but I think once it's laundered, it will be amazing. I do love the jack-o'-lantern and everything about it. The navy one, not so much. It's terrible. Total thumbs down on that. This is the hoodie of the same thing. I know. No, it's not. I'm comparing the shirts in this one. The hoodie's coming up. But you see the difference in the material there. That shiny polyester compared to the more cotton material. Here's the... Oh, still not the hoodie. This is the Beetlejuice t-shirt. Uh, this one feels the best out of all of them. It's a little big for me, but I'll wear it loose. It's cool. With some leggings. Uh, it is the Beetlejuice applique. It's really just a stamp. It smelled really strong of chemicals. I don't know. I'm not impressed with Timu's clothes. I want to be honest with you. Uh, bite your own risk. I mean... The subject matter is cool. 
and they have cool graphics but not impressed this is the hoodie it feels like sponge i can't explain it i think after it's laundered it'll be fine hopefully it doesn't shrink again same subject matter as the other two shirts i was trying to get a feel for what the different materials would be like hoodie compared to shirt and different colors of the same thing i know it's weird it's just what i do i got all of these shirts and hoodies for a really cheap price probably definitely under ten dollars and most of the shirts were not over five uh the prices may vary they change all the time on timu and of course i've had every knockoff stanley on earth and got rid of them and here we are revisiting the knockoff stanleys i got a black one for halloween that is what i'm going to use with the black boot and the bat straw topper just something for the season and i really like these these you really can't go wrong with the only complaint is i think they're a little big i should have gotten a 30 ounce but you know it is what it is also got it in white uh, i'm gonna use the white one through christmas i was kind of on a cup spree i've had every color known to man and sold them or gave them away and etc but here we are again i paid no more than four bucks for these each on a deal you got to look for the deals on timu even if you find something cheap you can probably find it cheaper on there if you search long enough you know it's an art i will say my favorite cup is this guy right here it's the knockoff starbucks 2023 halloween version the only problem with this one it's gorgeous by the way absolutely love it i paid like 11 for this one and change right at 12 dollars. i know that's a little much it is plastic but i love it and it's the right size it's not too big but there's honeybee she's watching some decluttering videos uh but it stinks like acrylic and i'm sure that's what they use for the dripping effect but i'm gonna air it out of course i'm gonna wash all these things before i use them but i do love it highly recommend that one and this is i'm getting a timu message right now with some offers of course this is a mask my husband loves masks and we've had pretty good luck with those so this is i don't know what this is it's some kind of strange thing i have no idea about but it's good quality and it looks really good so can't complain about that i know this was a quick video i did want to get this out we do have a cleaning video coming out so if you haven't subscribed be sure to do that and hit the like button it's a free way to support the channel thank you all for watching i will see you in the next one